In honor of your condensed spookiness, we will do a several videos on Serbian rogue gallery of our mythological beings. Before I move on, a small note. A lot of beings are quite similar to one another, there is a significant overlap, and the words for them are often used interchangeably. I only separated these beings because, in my personal opinion, there is enough material to warrant the separation. Furthermore, I will list the Serbian name of the creature, English translation, and, if there is no direct English translation, a close English equivalent, if any. Also, bear in mind that none of these creatures are exclusive to Serbia, and are, at the very least, present among other people of the Balkans and other Slavs at large. Behold, the demons and the dead approach. Avet, or Apparition. These shades are restless spirits of sinful men. They manifest themselves as emaciated people clinging tightly to winding sheets in desperate attempts to warm themselves. They generally inhabit abandoned houses and water mills, and will attempt to strangle any traveler who is out by night, or at least give them a good fright. Apparitions are especially aggressive during the so-called unbaptized days, the twelve days between the feasts of Christmas and Theophany. Garlics and crosses are known to ward off apparitions. Ashdaya, or multi-headed dragon. These evil draconic beings breathe fire and always have an odd number of heads. They are immensely strong, and the only way to fell an Ashdaya is to cut off its heads, which is probably derivative of the Hydra myth. In popular legends, saints and national heroes often fight these beings, usually to save a maiden or recover a priceless treasure. Allah. Allah is a being that is closely related to Ashdayas and dragons, even if dragons are their mortal enemies. They are serpentine beings of insatiable appetite. Due to this, eclipses were thought to be voracious Allahs attempting to devour the sun. They cause and can take the form of terrible thunderstorms, which in turn cause hail that destroys the crops. When a snake turns 100 years old, it turns into an Allah. Allah is a shapeshifter, and can take the form of many animals. Because its older name is Hala, it is possible that their name is etymologically connected to the English word hail, which Allah's cause. Babice, or midwives. These foul demonic beings are invisible crones whose only purpose is to cause harm or kill mothers and newborns 40 days after childbirth. They are old withered hags with long wild hair, always dressed in black. While they are primarily attacked by disease, they could also kill with objects that come in contact with their victims. In order to be protected from midwives, mother and children weren't supposed to leave their house for 40 days after birth, and a candle or a witch lamp were always to burn in the room where they are present. In addition, swaddling clothes were not left outside after sunset. Baba Marta, or Granny March. This female demon is the patron of month of March. She is extremely moody. One day she sends nice warm weather, and the next day she sends out blizzards and frost. Some legends say that the sun comes out during March only when Baba Marta smiles. The legend has it that she once reigned the first month of the year. However, when the Roman king Pompilius reformed the calendar, he introduced two new months, January and February, and she got furious with the two younger brothers that precede her. <laughs>